And we are going to have some amazing matches coming up right away. We've drawn the orders of the matches that we are going to play randomly. And the first match we are going to have is going to be Corian versus Zizix. And uh, playing at the same time on the other machine is going to be Larry Long, AKA, of course, Harry. Larry Hong. Larry uh, Long is going, going to be up against the 16 year old Joseph. Yeah, the, yeah prodigy. the prodigy, Joseph Saley. Come on up here. Let's get the players up here ready to the stations. I see Corian coming up here right now. I see Joseph walking up here. I'm kind of excited about this because, you know, they were talking about how they could hear the hyper tapping from over here. So I, I want to hear this from, from Joseph. And this is going to be an interesting mix because now we've got a hyper tapper on each of these stations. Oh, you're so right. You, right. We have yeah. a veteran uh, with Harry going against the prodigy Joseph, who's a hyper tapper. Uh -huh. And we have Zizix, who you may or may not believe has been here before. Are you sure? Against, I thought I he know. was a newcomer. I, Just like Hauser from little, last year, you a know? A little familiar in some ways. <laughs> I mean, he looks suspiciously like Hauser without a mullet and a mustache, right? But hmm. uh, I don't know. Suspicions, yeah, don't know. suspicions all around. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. You see Corian in your upper left. He, of course, is going to be going against Zizix in the upper right. And the other match, we are going to have uh, Joseph, again, 16 years old, only started playing Nest Tetris because he saw these videos and just became enthralled by it and said, you know what, I want to be a part of this. And here he is right now already in top eight in his first year here. And he's going to be going up against veteran Harry Hong, of course, who is the only person who have won a CTWC besides Jonas. And uh, if you see the setup here on our screens, uh, Corian is a hy hyper tapper. Uh, he has a specific setup with his hands, and uh, Joseph as well does something different with his hands too. So on the left side, we have our hyper tappers, and we have our <laughs> veterans on the right side. So um, just something to look for, look for uh, when you're seeing our players play. Um, you, they'll be able to move a little bit faster on the higher levels. Joseph can play super high, so, uh, so can Corian. Uh, Joseph already took out a couple of very, very uh, crucial players here. So he took out Yanni earlier, of course, yeah. who finished top eight last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he's already taken out one veteran. So, you know, Harry's definitely going to have a, a lot of work ahead for him. Right this is going to be exciting. I mean, no matter who wins here, these are all top tier players, some of the strongest mm -hmm. we've ever seen. And you see here right now, we have the bracket on stream for you guys. You see on the other side of the bracket, we are going to have Green Tea versus Joss Tolls, who hasn't been here since 2014, got here by winning the qualifier to make it back. Winning the qualifier at Tecmo Madison. This year, 2018, we had a variety of regionals and um, regional champions winning a trip to the finals in Portland. So we're getting our players finally situated. OK, we're going to start our round now. We're going to do a countdown from 10 down to 1. You ready, guys? 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Tetris! And of course, everyone's going to be starting at level 18 here. That way they can get as many points as possible very early on. And already right now, you see, look at Harry's stack right now compared to Joseph here. Joseph already a little bit odd uh, stacking, but Harry with a very clean play field. Oh, and Tetris. Yeah, simul Tetris. Simul Tetris for, for Joseph and Harry. Yeah. Corian still working on a Tetris right now. Corian and Zizix with their own piece set there, getting the drought early on. <laughs> yeah, they're already There's a in long 20 bar. piece Boom, drought. Tetris for Corian and Zizix. Yep, simul Tetris is for them as well. And now Joseph with an interesting situation here already. He's got to do some cleaning very early on. I mean, like we, like we said, he's going up against Harry. This is a veteran, so maybe a little bit of the nerves kicking in here. He's going to be able to clean out, no problem. But you can see that his burn is already at 11. Mm -hmm. And Harry's pulled a bit ahead on points, ahead by two, I mean, now three Tetrises. Yeah, Harry was at a 100% Tetris rate, had to burn one line. So now he's just at 75, you know, no Boom, big Tetris deal. Tetris for Jonas. But Harry's still ahead. And up on top, we are neck and neck. That's right. So right now, you see both uh, Zizix and Corian. they had to do a lot of burning early thanks to the drought. So they're both at about 60% Tetris rate right now. Mm -hmm. Both at ne They're both neck and neck because, you know, with the lower amount of uh, long bar pieces and the drought, 
they're going to both use it when, when it comes. Mm -hmm. However, Corian not using it that time. Zizix pulling ahead by one. Corian finally catching up, and we're neck and neck again. Yeah, Corian unfortunately building a lot of a one wide wells right now, too deep. But he's managed to cover most of them up, so he should be okay. But he's got one more on that third column right now, just kind of getting in his ways. Not going to fill it up just yet. He's going to see if he can... It's not going to be a center well, Tetris, though, because he's got that one hole in row two. Had to burn a triple there. Meanwhile, on the bottom screen, Harry's wide, um, has a wider lead, now 84,000. It'll take about four Tetrises for Joseph to catch up. Yeah, you can see why there's that lead. 50% Tetris rate compared to 83%. Definitely going to give Harry a big advantage. Right. Harry showing his aggression early on. All right, how perfect right there. The J piece there to tuck right in for Harry. And now he's set up. Boom! Boom. Tetris, Tetris for oh, actually both Harry and Joseph. And now Corian having to do a little bit of cleanup himself up at the top. You can see he's got that hole right now in column five. And he got the long bar. Boom, Tetris for Corian. And Zizix as well. Uh, Very close match on top. Meanwhile, Harry is still ahead. Joseph having to do some catch up. And here we go. Corian's going to be able to clean up to build that well on the right side again. So he's set up again for a Tetris, but okay. He's going to slide the, the O block right in there. As you can see, Joseph's build. Okay, he cleared it out. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Yeah, there we go. He started agreeing that lead. He has a really nice well there. Nice and solid building. There it goes. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And Harry maintaining his aggression. Oh, had an unfortunate S piece right there. He's going to have to do a little burning himself. That's That Just O piece is going to be perfect, though. Right out of it. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And Boom, Tetris for Harry. There we go. Looks like uh, Zizix trying to build a Zizix well here. And there, and there it, it is. is. Boom. Boom. Tetris for Zizix. Corian's Tetris ready again. Boom. Tetris for Corian is down to the bottom. So Corian has a slight lead, but they are neck and neck in rates right now. You can see 55, 58%. They are just basically playing at the exact same pace as each other right now. Meanwhile, it looks like jo uh, I'm sorry. It looks like Harry and Joseph are running into a drought. Look at this, 24, 25 pieces already. They're both but ready. Gonna be okay right now, and there you go. Simultrous for Joseph and Harry again, making the most of what they've got. But Harry's lead has been maintained, four Tetrises ahead. Yeah, but once again, Harry with a distinct lead in terms of Tetris percentages right now. If he can maintain that, that's probably what he, can do. he doesn't probably doesn't have to play as aggressive, but somehow I don't think that's gonna happen. I think Harry's gonna still keep playing very aggressive. That would be the way to go. I mean, all of these contenders are extremely capable of max out. Um, Joseph can pull ahead in the end because he can move the pieces where other people can't uh, when the game gets to level 19 uh, and beyond. But remember here, we have two players on the screen right now who did max out twice during mm -hmm. the qualifiers. Oh, dang, and they're on the exact same pieces right now as well, are uh, Harry, uh, Harry and Joseph. They're basically playing at the exact same speed same as pace. each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you notice, I think Harry might be playing a little slower than we're used to seeing. Like in previous years, he'd be pulling down, and uh, you know now he's kind of just letting it drop. And uh, Joseph and Harry are you know neck and neck on pace. Yeah, but the thing is, right now that uh, Harry, of course, with a distinct lead, you can see right there, he's got about a three tenths mm -hmm. lead right now. And we are very close to transition here, so the players need to set their uh, their wells up and make sure they're in a safe spot when the speed increase happens, which should be in the next couple of lines. Yeah, but you can see right now, both players with just beautiful stacks right now. The Harry at 72% during transition. He did max out twice during the quals. He's on pace yeah, right now for that. 600k at the transition is, um, is incredible. We might... It's highly likely that there's going to be a max out here. Yeah, if he doesn't top out, but he's doing really well right now. He's had to he's burn a little bottom. bit now. But like you said, a clean stack. A, such a clean stack right now. And he is Tetris ready, and there it is. Boom! Boom Tetris for Harry. 68% rate for Boom, him. Tetris for Joseph. Meanwhile, on top, we we were actually seeing uh, Corian pull ahead. Now ahead by about three Tetrises. 
but he's in trouble. He's playing extremely high. He's gonna need to dig down, dig back down before he can score again. Okay, I've got some good pieces right there. He's just looking. Okay, so he's got to keep burning. He's got to keep burning. Nice, smart placement right there, good and pieces. he's got himself. Yeah. Corian Tetris ready again. Okay, and continues cleaning. Uh, does Corian? Wasn't able to get the Tetris right there. Joseph is actually catching up to Harry now. We're about only one Tetris difference here. Wow. Here we so might yeah. see the hyper tapping and the maneuvers that Joseph can pull off, I mean, we making saw, a difference. We saw that Joseph was down to about 50% Tetris as early on, but he has built it all the way back up to 61%, and he's only one Tetris down now. Mm -hmm. Harry's having to clean up there. just a little bit. A few. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And now Joseph right there. Breathing Harry down. back. Joling back down, opting for a triple. Ugh, and Harry has not been able to find a proper piece to clear that line without accidentally covering the hole. But look up top, Corian has pulled ahead massively. He's now up 100,000 points. Um, Zizix is going to have oh, to get aggressive. A misplacement for Harry. Harry's Some, shaking his head. This is tough. Yeah, I don't think he's going to that. And, and Joseph my... came from behind. He was behind the, for the most of that match. And... When the, the game sped up, uh, he pulled ahead and was able to make up the difference. Right, and there is an example right there of the difference between the hyper tapping and the Daz method mm -hmm. right there. So score one for the hyper tapping there and score one for the youth over the veteran. And Corian, we have a similar situation on top. Corian is way ahead right now. And uh, Zizix is going to have to up that Tetris rate if he wants a chance at taking it back. We're on level 25, so kill screens are coming. Level 26 now for Corian. And he is so clean right now. You could, as Jonas said in one in commentary, you could eat off of that setup. <laughs> it's so clean. And look at that. Still so clean so right clean. now. Manipulating those pieces perfectly. Opting takes the triple, triple though, yeah. Takes the triple. He's so far ahead. He doesn't really need to because that kill screen's going to gonna hit before any more Tetrises. Yeah. And so he's just playing a little bit safe right now. He's so far ahead in Tetrises. It might not mathematically be possible for. Uh, yeah, and you know what? The Zizix stack is point. the stack is a little bit too messy right now for Zizix, and I think that's probably going to do it right now. Meanwhile, Harry and Joseph have started their next game. And Corian um, wins the first. So we're now one one with Joseph up one game and Corian up one game. Look at the that. hyper tappers. Yeah are getting the job done. <laughs> and a 47-piece drought at one point in time for Corian and Lots of droughts and right on our, our top station set there. Oh, nice little slight micro adjustment right there for Joseph. Gonna drop that in there just in case. Oh no, he's not happy because he's just looking for an L or a J and neither of them are coming. They would not show up for him at all. They it still- It is a messy, messy play field there for oh, Joseph. Is man. he gonna be able to get out of this? He was- oh! Oh! Oh, he Is it enough, it though, with a T? No! Oh! There, right there, and Harry not going to have to do much work here in this yeah. one. And it was unfortunate. Early top out for Joseph. He, he had himself set up with a too deep single block wide well. So he needed a T, or he needed an L or a J. But there was an L or J drought. And they did not come for at least 10 pieces in a row for him. And he was banking on that. Right. Slightly more conservative play might have made a difference there. Right. All right, so it is already 1-1 one, one now between these players. And now the nerves coming in there. And of course, Corian and Zizek still going, I mean, going right now on their second game. Corian, second game. of course, with a very clean field right now. 60% Tetris neck and neck rate. on top. And, uh... and Zizek's with a 63%. So yeah, very neck and neck in, in all facets of their gameplay. But now we're going for a Zizek's well here. Boom. Boom, Tetris for Zizix. Yeah. And Corian's ready. Stuff. Boom, Tetris for Corian. Now, lots of S and Z pieces forcing Zizix to stack all the way up on the right side over there. And Zizix is ready again. Boom, Tetris for Zizix. So, so far right now, 100% Tetris rate for Joseph. Hasn't had to burn any pieces. Going to be able to slide that T in there. Perfect. And yes, and he maintains it without oh. having to burn anything. Back to backs all around. Oh, there we go. Finally has to burn one piece. Mm -hmm. One burn. Meanwhile, Zizix still building in that center well right now. There you go. Boom, Tetris oh. for Zizix. Love that center well. 
And Corian set up for another one. We're neck and neck. Joseph pulling ahead in score with that. I think his test just rate is in the 90s. Yeah, he has to burn a little bit right now. Not going to be able to get a Tetris just yet. Going to wait for another long piece. Let's see how long he's going to wait before he starts to do some burning. There we go. Has to burn a little bit, but then there it is. Boom, Tetris okay, for 74%. Joseph. Yeah, down to 74% now. And Zizix maintaining his well. Three from the left. Harry right now with a really nice looking well. Except right there. Oh, actually, perfect sequence of pieces for Harry. There it is. Boom, Tetris for Harry. But he's only at a 37% rate, so he's behind. But you know what? We remember what happened in the first game between these two. Yeah, this is going to get interesting. Um, this time, Joseph has a lead early on. And uh, in the first game, Joseph was, was behind. Oh, and... boy. Uh, missed oh, drop man. right there from Harry. Harry should be able to survive this, but... He's going to need, need a long piece. There it is. Oh, oh, no. That oh, does not no. look good. And that might be it that right be there. It. And there and it is. And Joseph has eliminated Harry Hong. And there you see right there, if he had the hyper tapping, he might have been able to get that long piece all the way to the left side. But that's why they build the wells on the right side, because getting it to the left requires one more yeah, movement. Yeah, slight disadvantage getting it over there. And uh, Harry Hong has been eliminated in basically fifth. He's going to be tied for fifth place. Mm -hmm. And we have a newcomer in their top four. That's Oh, man. Exciting. Definitely an yeah. upset there, but we're going to watch through this. And uh, Zizix. And Zizix are still at it. Corian with a huge lead now. 160,000 points ahead, eight Tetrises. Zizix maintaining his well. There's a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Zizix. He's going to have to increase the aggression. He gets Tetris rate up to where Corian's is. Yeah, but getting an unfortunate P sequence right now. About halfway on the way to transition here. All right, well, he's been able to keep it clean and per Oh, he didn't drop it off to the side over there. Not sure uh, what Zizix was trying to do, unless he's just trying to set something up. Not sure what he's going for right now. But he's got that center well set up. Simul Tetris for both players. And Corian's just getting back-to-backs like crazy. Oh, well, Zizix almost... has managed to transition his well now. Back over to okay. the right. Boom, Tetris for Zizix. Catching up just a little. Yeah, Corian getting a little bit of an un... Oh, that was such a beautiful clear right there for him. But Great. now has that one hole in the middle in that fifth column right now, which is causing him a little bit of strife. Not going to risk waiting for a long piece. Mm -hmm. Covered up again, so there's still that one hole, but he's going to try to start setting up. There we go. Cleared it out. And Zizix going for the center well again. And it's working out. Boom, Tetris for Zizix. Corian building his up. He's, re he's Tetris ready. So clean. Corian. Boom, Tetris for Corian. Again, a lot of times when you have the two block uh, stack on one of the sides for a center well, the pieces just kind of fit and work out a lot of the times. We're you only on line 111 for Corian, and he's already over 500,000 points. Jeez. So this is definitely max out pace. We're going we're gonna to see a high score here. And oh, man. Built so clean. Zizix is ready for a Tetris. Koran's build. It's beautiful. Boom! Koryan got Tetris! <laughs> Always wanted to do that. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Boom! Koryan got Tetris! Again! Totemo Tetris! Des. And now we have Zizix back to the well on the right side again. So he's set up here, but as you can see, he's already had to sacrifice a lot of time with burning. So and he's Zizix. finally going to get Boom. a Tetris, Tetris for Zizix. And Zizix transitions to 19. And a transition for Corian, but Corian transitioning at a 74% rate, while Zizix at a 45% rate of Tetrises. So a distinct advantage for Corian right now. And he's going to be Tetris right now. Nope, he's going to burn instead. Doesn't want to set up that big long column on the side. Boom, yeah. Tetris for Zizix. Catching up just a little, but Corian is so far ahead. But he's playing a little safe now. He's playing a little safe. Okay, finally he sets himself for, a, for another Tetris. You see he has a seven burn right now, but finally gets another Tetris here. Keeping that Tetris rate over 70%. This is amazing. Ooh. And there's that hyper tapping at work. Nice. And he's going to be able to clear that and keep himself Tetris ready. Super clean, even at this speed. Keeps burning off to the side. Doesn't want to risk too much right now. Boom! Tetris for Corian. Boom! Tetris for Zizix. All right. 
has to do a little bit of cleaning out as Corian, you can see right there, has to clear out that right side again. And Zizix doing, doing more to catch up here. Zizix now still about eight Tetrises behind. And we're on level 23. He's got a little bit of time. Corian now having to clean up just a little bit. Oh so he can catch boy. up a little here. Boom, Tetris for Zizix. A little awkward stacking right now for Zizix, but still manages to... Nice, nice tuck, tuck in there! And he set himself Excellent up Excellent tuck. A Boom. Boom! Tetris for Zizix. Depset now down to about 100,000. Zizix going for a triple. And keeping everything clean above that one hole, and he's going to be able to... Oh, he's setting himself up for a Tetris again. On a... There nice. it is! Boom, Tetris wow. for Zizix. Played a little risky there, but it paid off. Boom, for Tetris for Corian. 764,000 points. Definitely still on potential. He's 61% Tetris rate, so he can still get a max out. Yes. And Zizix doing much better now, actually. Yep, he just needs himself to clear that out. And he's Tetris ready, ready. on column Boom. two. Tetris for Zizix. There we go. And he's going to keep going with that. Mm -hmm. And that's tough because that requires more eyepieces. So he's gonna have to transition to the first column. No, he's gonna, okay, he transitioned to the, to the, oh, Two. never mind. Actually, he just dropped that eyepiece right there. So he's now need, he went for three oh, eyepieces for that Tetris. Tetris. I don't Depth know. that's only at 60. Three Tetris know. difference now. It's catching up. And look at this, Zizik is still getting these Tetrises in Corian the middle of the screen. Double there. Boom, Tetris Boom. for Zizix. He's catching up. Look how close he is right now. A kill screen is coming for Corian too. Boom, Tetris for Corian. And Zizix is Tetris doing is away. this. Oh kill no. Kill screen's coming, he didn't get the Tetris there. Oh, he needs. Oh, here comes the kill screen. I don't think he's gonna be able to get three Tetris in that amount of time. situation here. He's gonna, gonna get a triple, triple. And then that's gonna cause a kill screen in one line. So he's trying to, he's trying to going get one for last Tetris. He's going for it. He just needs to stack to the Boom. side. Boom, but it's not gonna be enough. He came all the way back from being That's down about eight Tetris. Yeah, yeah, that was a great comeback. Amazing yeah. play by Zizix. The heart <laughs> show there. Oh, man. The Corian. All right, so we're going to talk with Joseph right now, who just defeated the 2014 world champion, Harry Hong, in very impressive fashion. First of all, going into that matchup, talk to us about your nerves seeing Harry Hong next to you. Yeah, I was really nervous. I don't know. I didn't know what's, uh, what, what was going to happen, you know. It's, I'm just glad I was able to pull it off. Yes, definitely. You definitely did pull it off. Let's talk about that second game, though, just what happened there. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like I was playing a little bit too aggressive, playing way too high, you know. And then that third game, I wanted to just, you know, take it a little bit more easy, uh, not as high, yeah. Between game two and game three, you had to compose yourself. That was a really big challenge. Like, just tell us how you got through that. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just knew I had to change my play style uh, immediately. Like Not as aggressive. Just play to the kill screen, I guess you could say. Yeah, definitely. So now we know it's the battle of the hyper tappers. This might be one of the most interesting matchups we have seen in any CTWC. You versus Corian in the semifinals. Just tell us what you're expecting. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what to expect, you know. Uh, I haven't, I never played Corian, but he's, you know, he's really successful and it's just going to be a blast, honestly. He's 16 years old, folks. Let's give him a round of applause. He has moved on to the semifinals. Thank you very much for your time. And now we're going to bring in Corian. We're going to bring in his translator, Mark McDonald, who also works with the Tetris Effect, folks. So, Mark, thank you very much. You actually live in Tokyo. So we're actually going to bring you into the middle uh, right here. So Corian, uh, just tell us about the experience of making it to the semifinals, especially after your last two tournaments. Yeah, last year the, at the tournament, they felt a lot of pressure, you're saying? And the year, the year, the the Yeah, so this year also the qualifying was really uh, like a tough, uh, tough circuit to, to go through, so. 
気楽にやろうと思ってます。I, I think take it easy.、Uh, uh, that one I can get. He's going to take it easy. I got that one. <laughs> that one we got.、Uh, talk about this incredible matchup now Hyper Tapper versus Hyper Tapper. What are you expecting from this matchup against Joseph? なんとなくもう分かってるみたいですよね。じゃあどうぞ。Uh, it's uh, first time. First time.、Uh, yeah. yeah. Very exciting. Uh, uh, can't wait. Still a little bit of mystery revolving that matchup. Round of applause for Corian. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Mark. All right, we're going to throw it back to James and Chris as we round out the quarterfinals. Guys, it has been incredible thus far, hasn't it? Oh, it's、I've、been amazing. This is just、yeah. ridiculous right now. And, and we're only halfway through the first round right now of the top eight. And just seeing the this, this setup where the hyper tappers、um, <laughs> both won their matches,、mm -hmm. we could be seeing you know, a whole new generation, a new style of play that we've never seen before、yeah. in the Classic Tetris World Championships going forward. Right. And、uh, you know, we've talked to Jonas, and you know, he said that he's kind of. Dabbled in a little bit of tapping to see if he can mitigate <laughs> any it, possible、right. disadvantages there. So, you know, players who don't do it may, may have to adapt. Yeah, but one of the things that we want to make sure that we do is thank all of our sponsors here who、Absolutely. are supporting the Classic Tetris World Championships, such as、uh, Cogworks Laboratory.、Uh, we're excited to welcome the Cog Sci Department from Rensselaer Polytech Institute for the third straight year. They've flown out to conduct eye tracking studies. And collect data on the world's greatest Tetris players. Their goal basically is to further understanding of visual perceptual learning and extreme expertise using Tetris. Yeah, it's great, great for scientific advancements.、Mm -hmm. I mean, anything we can do to you know, help the world and、Absolutely. scientific community with what we do, that's great.